let's discuss balancing distal and local points, the overview. Local points are those situated in close proximity of the area where the clinical manifestation occurs. For example, in ear problems with pain and discharge, the points around the ear are local points. Distal points are those that affect a certain area, although they are situated away from the area where the clinical manifestations occur. In the above example of ear problems, distal points would be those on the arm. Generally speaking, local and distal points are situated on the same channel, the former in the area of the clinical manifestation, the latter at the other end of the channel. In the above example, if the channel involved were the triple burner, TB21 is a local point and TB5 a distal point. However, distal points are not necessarily only those of the channel involved. In the above example of ear problems due to the triple burner channel, LI4 would also act as a distal point. Furthermore, although as mentioned, TB5 as a distal point, any point on the triple burner below the elbow would also act as a, dis as a distal point. In theory, any point situated at the distance from where the problem lies could be defined as a distal point. For example, if the problem is in the gums along the stomach channel, stomach 4, stomach 5, stomach 6 are local points and stomach 44 located on the foot is the distal point. However, with very few exceptions, this relationship generally works only in one way. That is, while stomach 44 is a distal point for problems of the gums, points around the gums, the stomach 4, stomach 5, stomach 6, are not distal points for foot problems. So we have here an uh, illustration of a local and distal points. Uh, the patient having a toothache that is using stomach 6 as a local point, and the distal point is... LI4 and stomach 44. Therefore, with only a few exceptions, distal points are the points situated on the arms and legs and specifically those below the elbows and knees. The points below the elbow and knees are particularly dyna dynamic points which affect distal parts of the body. Obviously, in the case of articular problems below the elbow and knees, Local and distal points coincides, for example, in a wrist problem along the small intestine channel, SI5 normally a distal point act also as a local point. We can therefore say that with few exceptions, distal points are those on the limbs below the elbow and knees, while local points are those on the trunk and head. The combination of local and distal point is the is most widely used technique of balancing of points. Thank you for your attention.